Hey, Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art. Okay, we're back at it again today. So, today I'm going to be working on the wings, but what I got to do here, this has been, I mean, I've, you ever have one of those projects where it's really tough making up your mind which is the best way to go? Well, this is this project. Because uh, I have to keep in consideration how heavy this thing is getting to be able to mount it on the side of the ferry house and make it look like it's hovering. The heavier it gets, the harder that's going to be to accomplish. So, that being said, um, these wings here, with this mesh of wire here, I got to fill that void. And I could use the Habitat Freeform Black or the Habitat Freeform uh, Fire Safe. It's, but it's, uh, it's a hard density and I really like that about it, but it starts adding weight pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use their Freeform air it's a lot lighter material but you for everything you have to make trade-offs so it's I like the fact that uh, it's super light but it doesn't have that really hard shell like the uh, the uh, habitat freeform black or habitat freeform fire safe uh, I used it on the chest here to beef out in this chest just to see what it was like because you know I hadn't used it before so I tested it out here and uh, it, it's going to work and I've added some back here because these are like multiple layers here so you got a set of wings so really long wings here and then this here is uh, a little bit stepped up some and then there's another step up that goes here so if I was using the high density epoxies can you imagine how heavy this thing would get it's already getting pretty heavy so that being said I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, freeform air to fill in these voids and get my first layer on, and then I'll come back with the. Uh, I, I got some uh, Habitat freeform, freeform Black ordered. It should be here tomorrow, and I'll be building the wings out with that. Um, to get this stuff to stick, you, you need to put water on whatever you're putting it on. Okay, but this is raw metal. So that being said, I really didn't want to encapsulate water in between the raw metal and the epoxy. So I'm using alcohol because for it to evaporate. Uh, I, I just come up with that, so this is my own thing. <laughs> I tend to do that at times. So bear that in mind. You can always talk to a smooth on as far as if you decide to do something like that and see what they suggest. I'm, I'm going to fly by the seat of my pants and do it. Matter of fact, I did it on that side of the wing. I did that with a denatured alcohol yesterday, and I did this side by using the water between the two. They both seem to, they both adhered well, so um, I guess it's kind of up to you. So I'm going to get a batch of this made and show you how to apply it. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you see me just grabbing it right out with that gray right there, right? Okay, but I'm not going to start grabbing out the white because I've got some of the gray on my hand and if I did that I would contaminate it don't want to contaminate so grab me the stick here that's the one I was using yesterday so what you want to do is get um, A and B basically the same size balls that you're working with golf balls soft balls hard hook baseball whatever <laughs> Don't try to do football size. That might not work out too well. Okay. I can already tell the gray is definitely... I got more gray than I do white. I would almost bet you money. Smooth On's got a video on mixing this. I'm pretty positive they do. All right. I'm going to call that good. First, I just start squishing it together and folding it over. Oh yeah, when you're looking at the wing here, you'll see the two different wires I use. I came in with a, a smaller gauge wire because this this pattern, it's just too big. You know, I tried that and my, my epoxy just basically wanted to fall through it. So I came in with a, a lot smaller gauge wire. I picked that up as a Wilco's, basically like a farming garden center type deal. So I cut it to fit the holes and I, uh, I super glued them in place temporarily. Just enough, couple spots just to get it to hold. Okay, there again, what I'm looking for here, I've already got it mixed pretty well. I'm making sure that there's no streaks of white in here. 
Okay, so there it is. That's ready to go. So I got my denatured alcohol. I'd like to have 99% alcohol, which you can get at most places. This just says denatured alcohol on it. So that's what we're gonna use. So the idea here is just to get it good and wet. Like I say, if you try to put this stuff on without it being wet, good luck. You're not going to have much luck with that. Because it just does not want to stick if you don't have, have it wet. What it will do is start sticking to your gloves though. It starts sticking to your gloves, just wet it out. And you can see once you wet it out, you can just go right over it. Ooh. And it smooths out, smooths out pretty easy. As long as you got it wet. If you don't, that's when you're gonna run into problems. See my hands starting to dry. Oops. So we'll wipe a little bit more on there. And just kind of lightly work it. Stuff here you really don't want to try and push or pull it too hard. Trying to uh, pull it over a little bit, spread it out thinner is what I'm doing. There again, I'll be building this out. This is just basically just to fill these this grid pattern up. As long as you keep, like I say, you keep some moisture on it, it works pretty well. But just as soon as it starts getting dry, it'll start doing that, what you see right there where it wants to tear. And then just moisten it back up if you need to move it some more. Here again, this is just the uh, first layer. I'll be coming back with the Habitat Freeform Black. Well, this gray here is Habitat Freeform um, Fire Safe. I want to try the black out because I haven't used the black yet. So I want to see what the black is like. I really like the Fire Safe as far as uh, workability, um, the hardness of it, viscosity. Well, I liked everything about it. And I got a feeling I'm going to like the Habitat Black just as well. So. Here's my little texturing tool. Um, picked this up at a art supply place. And it's, um, this is where I put epoxy on it because you know the, when I got it, the end popped right off my stick. So I just took some epoxy and epoxy it on there. So it's just a matter of dipping it in your uh, water. Or in my case, what I'm using right now is alcohol. And I just want to create stipple effect where my next layer will really bite. So, the rougher the better <laughs> for this particular thing. You don't want it smooth. Now I'll go ahead and I'll mix up a batch and go ahead and continue the rest of this wing. Uh, the next video coming up we'll be using the Habitat Freeform Black and creating some serious feathers so make sure you stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this playlist.